great day for Val Austin, but I want, before I start, I've got to, today is a significant day in our country's history. A great man was born May 12, 1925, great American philosopher, Yogi Berra. And as I was coming here today, Sonny, I thought about, uh, Mr. Mayor, I thought about this. Quote, I bought a book about a week ago, it's an investment book. Of all places, it's a book Warren Buffett says it's probably one of the best investment books he's ever had. It's right off the press. It's called The Most Important Thing. And I know it's a great book because in chapter two he quoted Yogi Berra. <laughs> Yogi said, and I quote, in theory, there's no difference between theory and practice, but in practice, there is. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all think about that for a minute. And I thought about that quote because Solar power at one time was a theory, now it's in practice. I had the pleasure of meeting uh, with Pete yes. and Sonny I just met. I didn't know Sonny was, has a very significant friend named Nathan Dill we grew up with. And I met Pete out front of the governor's office, believe it or not, yesterday. Uh, I was there getting two bills signed. I will tell you, one's on unemployment, one's on health care mandates, both very significant business bills. I'm very proud to work it. But it came out and Pete and I celebrated with Ronnie Chance the signing of House Bill. 346, I believe, is the number of the solar tax credit bill. You know, it's not, it was not the first time we've done this tax credit bill, but it was a renewal, like a three-year extension of the credit. And I'm very proud of that. I think it's a very significant event, because now, you know, we've gone from theory to trying to put it in actually in practice. You know, when Jimmy Carter was president back in the 70s, he put solar panels up on the White House. And a lot of people don't remember that, but it, they have since come down. People thought Jimmy Carter was a nut probably because he put up those solar panels. Then it was really seriously a theory that is now coming into practice. You know, Ted Turner, who, I shouldn't say this, you know, as I said, everybody thought Jimmy Carter's a nut, a lot of people think Ted Turner's a nut. <laughs> the reality is Ted Turner was quite an entrepreneur. Let's face it, he made a championship to the Atlanta Braves. Uh, look what he's done for 24 hour news, he's revolutionized the world in terms of the media. Ted Turner is a very significant player. He believes in solar power. He is, if I would call, is where his tournament headquarters is located, he's going to have solar power put on the parking lot, and all the energy for that building will come from solar power. And just the other day, I was reading somewhere in one of the newspapers I was reading, I can't remember which one, I think it's Data Technologies, uh, is a significant energy user. They're getting the bulk or the great portion of their energy now from solar panels on their roof. Uh, I believe it, not the complete answer for it, but it kicks in during peak times. So think about that for a minute. If we can have solar power kick in during peak times, what that does for energy conservation. Uh, this is a very significant day. I'm very proud to be here and share the stage with these distinguished gentlemen, from Roy to the new commissioner, the cousin, the mayor, Sonny, thank you uh, for your investment, Val Officer, thank you for bringing these jobs. Thank you for promoting solar power. I truly believe it's a technology whose time has come and will be a significant player in the future as we try to become an energy independent nation and state. With that, I thank you for being here and uh, uh, good luck on this project. Thank you for investing in Valdosta Lands County. It's a great community. Thank you.